Imagine that you're sitting in an expensive restaurant, 12 course tasting menu, reservation only. The server brings up the first course, and you see this. Insects have been part of the human diet for ages, all around the world. In ancient Greece, cicada make for a popular dish. Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, had even agreed that female cicadas full of eggs were juicier than males. Insects were also considered a delicacy in ancient Rome, a par with the highest quality of meats. In some cases, they were fed with flour and wine to be fattened up and to become more flavorful. In Australia, witchetty grubs are fatty worms that have been a staple in the diet of Aboriginal Australians for centuries. Where in Southeast Asia, red palm weevil larvae have been harvested from palm trees as delicacies. Even though insect consumption has been an important part of history, it has greatly declined over time, especially in the western part of the world. How did that happen? While it is true that many insects are historically considered as a threat to agriculture, today we're still taught that they are pests to fear and avoid. They spread diseases, they sting, they invade your personal space all of the time. Even arts and theater have perpetuated our disgust against bugs, portraying them as monsters and enemies, let alone putting one of those little buggers in our mouths. On top of that, as prepared and packaged foods became more and more available to us, we became less and less connected to where our food came from. Nowadays, very few of us immediately associate our sirloin steak at the supermarket to the slaughtering of a cow. An insect, however, is very small. So even when cooked, it doesn't look too different from when it was alive. Over time, the modern Western culture has had the tendency to associate entomophagy, or insect eating, to savagery and foreignness. So foreign that there's a special word for it. When we talk about entomophagy, we think about faraway places like Australia and Southeast Asia we mentioned before, or about termites being used to enrich wheat bread in Kenya, which is quite genius. But what about in places like the US? Turns out that farm-grown insects are already in our animal feed, but raising them for human consumption can mean a huge step towards sustainability. Let's think about it. Compared to conventional meats such as poultry, pork, or beef, crickets can turn the same amount of feed into the highest amount of edible weight. Not only the quantity, the nutritional quality of insects is also not to be overlooked. For example, grasshoppers have comparable protein contents to that of cattle, and witchetty grubs are high in unsaturated fatty acids. Research had also shown that mealworm and termites are great sources of niacin and folate, making insects promising sources of various nutrients we need. In addition, a greater variety of insects had already found their ways to high-end kitchens and is not through the drain. Hot cuisine chefs are venturing out to find insects for their menus, raising awareness and challenging the negative social connotations associated with entomophagy. But maybe not everyone is ready to munch on salt and pepper roast cricket for a snack. In powder form, insects are easier accepted by Western customers. Cricket powder is being developed into different seasonings to enrich them with more vitamins and minerals. Mealworms are being added to meatballs as a sustainable source of animal proteins. Scientists have also developed better ways to extract nutrients from bugs as well. In the most common way, the raw material is dried, then ground into a fine meal. The meal is then defatted to extract fats. Then finally, separated into fraction of various nutrients to be used in different ways. With our population getting larger by the minute, generating more waste and demanding for more food. Our world is looking at alternative protein for an answer. Will this be the future?